Hey, 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 closet dwellers. It's time once again for an uncloseted riff and rant. I'm your host, Rick Clemens, the bold move expert and the guy that helps you come out of those closets of your life. And um, I don't know, it just seems like a really good opportunity to talk about something and to talk about obligations. Yes. And it's time for me to quit talking like this because I'm sure it will get very annoying if I keep doing that. So let's get right to it. I was working with a client this week and we were working through some stuff and suddenly some words came out of my mouth that I thought, well, that was kind of profound what I just said. I said, so is there an obligation in that opportunity? And it got really quiet on the other end of the phone. And I thought, actually, that's a pretty good blog post or a podcast subject to talk about what is the opportunity versus the obligation. And I know for me over the past few weeks, there's been a lot of opportunities knocking, but as I stepped back and started looking at these opportunities, I started asking myself a whole lot deeper questions. Now, most of us, when we get an opportunity coming to us, we're going to go, is that good or bad for me? Not uncommon, right? We want to know, is this going to be a good opportunity or a bad opportunity for me? But what I'm starting to find is a more interesting set of questions is, what's tied up in that opportunity? What's the obligation behind the opportunity? So, Here's three questions that I think will really help you when you get back into this corner of here's a really cool opportunity. You've kind of done everything else, but let's take it that one step further and let's think about the obligation. So the first question is, is the obligation that's tied up in the opportunity worthy of the opportunity? In other words, if there's an obligation tied to this opportunity, is it really worth going for the opportunity? Is the obligation going to be more than what the opportunity is worth? It's a really interesting question to ask. The second question to ask is, is the obligation more of an obligation than an opportunity? You see, within the opportunity, there's going to be some obligations, okay? Let's just, we know that that's part of what happens with opportunity. There's going to be an obligation maybe to perform if it's a job opportunity. If it's a love relationship opportunity, maybe there's going to be an obligation to be, you know, I don't know, monogamous or maybe to be completely fully in love in a deeper way than we were before. Whatever it is, there's always going to be obligations tied to many opportunities, but is the obligation more of a deep obligation than an opportunity? Good question to ask. And finally, I would ask myself, is the opportunity coming truly from a space of opportunity or is it being crafted in the way of an obligation that is kind of being spun into an opportunity? So someone could say, well, you know, I feel like you really need to be doing this because this is what it would need to save our friendship. And by the way, it's an opportunity for you to go to this concert with me. Do you see how suddenly you got manipulated into doing something like that? And that's just a very simple example. But as we look at things that create our lives to be in that space where we feel completely uncloseted, to be able to move forward, doing the things we love to do, living our most fullest life, I beg you to ask the question, Is living a life uncloseted coming from a space of full opportunity or from a space of obligation? And if it's obligation, are you really truly living a life uncloseted? Because no matter how you look at it, every opportunity and every obligation in some way, shape, or form can either make you the biggest winner or the biggest loser. It's all about, is it an opportunity, an obligation, or an obligation masking the opportunity or an opportunity be masked by an obligation. So that's it. That's all I got for this week, but I think I may have just turned your little heads into spinning. I don't think you have little heads or little brains. I just think I may have just stirred up a whole lot of thought processes to make you think about how do you live your life on closet when it comes to opportunities and obligations. So that's it. Take care. Have a good one. And we will catch up with you real soon in just a few days with another episode of life on closet.